All right, now you've done all the preparation and finally we get to do what's called laying glass. We get to put the modules on the array. So let's get started with that. Now, first thing that I want to suggest that you do, and not everyone has to do it this way, but we're just going to show you this way. On the ground, work on your modules and you want to secure the module interconnect wires to themselves or to the frame. Sometimes people use clips and they put these wires up. I'm just going to boop click it like this and turn it into a bit of a knot, just a single loose sort of knot with the wires put together. We're going to do that because these wires then are going to be able to lay down flat on top of the optimizer and that's how we're going to keep them up off the ground. It's a real simple technique. Then I'm going to have you make a mark here at each one of these locations here, another one there. Make a mark 12 inches down because that's the distance that we're choosing, remember, based on the manufacturer telling us that we can go anywhere from, we can support these modules with a rail anywhere from 9 inches down to, I think it was around 16 inches down. You can look that up in your resources. And we chose 12 as sort of a safe intermediate point where we're going to put those rails. So that's how we marked off our horizontal lines. And now we're putting that 12 inch mark on the frames and we're going to use these marks to help us align the module to the rail and make them square to the rail next to each other. And now you're going to lift the modules up onto the roof one by one. You might do this with a couple of people. I'm going to touch the module whoop, and it's going to go up onto the roof. Uh, you can also check your uh, associated videos because we talk about using a lifting ladder for getting the modules up onto the roof safely. So now we got the module and modules up onto the roof. So what we're going to do is start assembling it onto our rail system. So what we have you do is lift up the module and move it over. Hold it at roughly a 45 degree tilt because you're going to do wiring underneath. And then underneath we've got the optimizer wires. You want to connect those to the module wires. So go ahead and grab any one of the wires. This happens to be the rectangle one and connect it to the pointy one from the module and then take the other connector from your optimizer, bring it up and connect it to your module. So now you've connected the module to the optimizer. Now this is a critical step. This is where we say lower the module down onto the rails. So you're going to touch on it and you're going to lower it down. But this is really important. This is where you want to watch out to make sure that you do not pinch your wires against your rails. So you've got a, a module with a metal frame and you've got a rail with a metal rail. You don't want those wires to in any way get pinched here. So that's a real important thing to check as you lay them down. Then you want to adjust. So you touch the module and you adjust it up until that 12 inch mark on each corner gets aligned to the rail. And then you're going to touch it and move it over to give yourself roughly about an inch and a half here at the end of the rails. That's enough room for the end clamp that you're going to put on. Okay. And so now let's put on the end clamps. This is an example of, an, of a, a mounting type of system. Uh, now the key thing here is that these are typically inverted bolts. So it's got some sort of bolt head and the bottom which is going to slip in to the uh, groove on the top of your rail. So by touching it, whoop, we slide it right in and that inverted bolt head is going to slide in to the rail. And we have another one to do on the bottom. So now you're going to bring up your uh, drill and you're going to drill it in and tighten it up. Same thing down below, second rail, you're going to slide that end attachment bolt with its inverted bolt head into the rail and then you're going to bring up your tool and you're going to be able to tighten that down, right? Now on the other side, you use a probably a slightly different one. This one's more skinny, so it's this happens to be a particular choice of mounting system again with an inverted bolt and you're going to touch on it to slip it into the rail system. Then you're going to slide it over until it touches the side of the module. That's how we're going to connect module to module. And then one more thing here, we're going to zoom in a bit here just to see, but the idea is that, uh, I'm trying to zoom in, you want to rotate this guy. I'm going to touch it and you're going to rotate that bottom uh, bolt head so it locks itself into the vertical groove that's in the top of the rail. Same thing down below, you're going to click on it to put it into the rail system. Then you're going to slide it on over until it touches flush with the module and then you're going to rotate it and we rotated that head inside so it locks itself in 
basically holds itself up, waits for us to install the next module. And so we do that. We bring up the next module. Now, we've laid it down for you, but here again, you would have that curled up wiring underneath that would be laying on top of your optimizer, but you want to make sure when you lay it down that there's no pinching going on. That's the critical thing going on here. You do not want to pinch those wires because that could lead to a ground fault. So now you want to slide the module over so that it fits right next to those bolts that you put in and then you're going to slide it up and you're going to align it with that 12 inch mark and that's going to align your modules to the rail and to each other. And then you're going to come along with your tool here and you're going to tighten it using that and down below as well. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to tighten it as well. So now I've tightened it up. And that's what we've done. Now we've put in two and basically we're going to make life easy for you and say that we're going to put in the next uh, three, four, five, six, and seven uh, modules for you. We'll finish up the last module in another lesson. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.